Yesterday I covered the case that has a screen on it already with indication of CPU temperature or GPU temperature. Today we're going to talk about a side panel kit that you place on your tempered glass and you can use it as an actual monitor, right? So why not add one? Here it is. Or should we wait for the computer to boot? Because what's happening right here is that the computer has additional screen inside that is showing everything that you have on your desktop or depending on how you wish to place it and configure it uh, with your main monitors. This right here is ASRock's 13.3 inch side panel kit which has a full HD resolution 60 Hz refresh rate, has IPS panel and can be quite handy. Now what you could do with this is basically it could be a side monitor that could help you with some additional, I don't know, space if you're really lacking in general space on your table and you can use it for Discord, you can use it for chats, you can use it for any sorts of work, for instance, additional space where you keep some additional informations and similar stuff. Even though I know you guys prefer when you're having a build that has tempered glass to make it look nicer inside, I would consider this either in a work environment where you get a side panel that is additional for your needs uh, for additional space, even desktop space, or for gaming in terms of not gaming on the actual monitor since it's 60 hertz and it's 13.3 inch screen but for something that you could use it for discord or additional chats or anything similar that could help you with additional screen. Now what's it all about? ASRock released a couple of new motherboards that actually have an EDP connection which can be connected to this uh, screen. And with that package you basically get 13.3 inch screen, you get two long brackets, two short brackets, EDP cable for connecting the motherboard directly to the screen, and you get five cable management ties that can be attached to your case or whatever you decide to place inside and how you decide to place inside with the double sided tape. Now, it's fairly easy actually to do everything, but most importantly is to attach the E display port cable at the back of the motherboard before placing the motherboard inside the case, of course. After that, the steps are quite easy. You have to place first the bottom bracket, depending are you going to go horizontal or vertical because you can go with both positions and it's all up to your liking. I decided to place it like this just so you can see that you still have loads of space inside the MIDI tower case where you can actually see your build. And if I placed it a bit lower even the graphic card would be seen properly and it would be quite cool, right? The viewing angles are really incredible and since we have an IPS panel at the back, the colors are outstanding. So you don't have to worry about true colors, you don't have to worry about viewing angles and depending on how the case is tilted comparing to your sitting position, you don't have to worry about some gray outs or basically positioning of this side panel kit that you won't get true colors or you'll get some uh, shadows or stuff like that. But in any situation, let's continue. So after you place the bottom bracket, of course, when you decide how the side panel will be placed, you connect the EDP to the panel. And after that, it's just fairly easy. You have to remove the plastic foil of the additional bracket and place it on top of the screen and then just slide it back inside basically uh, giving us uh, an additional screen right here and uh, an easy mounting actually. If you're worried about tempered glass and the brackets uh, leaving some stains, they actually added, as you can see here on the sides, uh, some sort of a um, removement of the double-sided tape. So for instance, you decide to remove the side panel for your personal reasons, uh, you just have to of course, shut down your PC, remove the tempered glass, disconnect the EDP cable from the panel, and basically you just have to slide out the additional screen out, and then you just have to remove these plastic tips, and that's it. There's no stains on the tempered glass. You could 
just clean it after that and that's it so what you could do with this as I already stated you could use it for discord you could use it for some excel sheets you can use it for some additional screening or whatever you wish or you just want to see additional temperatures right here directly on your pc if any other screens are a bit too harder for you to manage with additional programming or you're uh, not able to find any programs that will run some screens that are connected with hdmi or anything similar to that this will give you some let's say easy uh, access and usage for this build i actually used asrock z790pg lightning which is based on intel core 13 generation processors and supports ddr5 it has a minimalistic look but still it does the job with 13600k and in past video you actually saw the thermals on the 13600k on this motherboard so yeah there's that there's loads of possibilities when we're talking about m.2 slots and of course edp for your side panel kit so it's quite cool basically to have something like this on inside your pc for instance if you're not running some sort of a custom sleeve cables or you're not actually going with some specific theme inside the build or maybe this screen will actually give you some additional boost to the visual aspects of your build if you're running some special theme of the build so it's all up to you to configure and do what you want because after all it is all up to our own personal preferences so guys it's quite uh, simple and easy to mount it it's quite easy to connect it and it's immediately detected when you turn on your pc as you can see you don't even have to connect it to your graphic card and that's basically it so all in all uh, quite interesting and a bit different video for you today because i haven't done such videos at all when we're talking about side panel kits but the ASRock 13.3 inch side panel kit really does look uh, quite interesting and of course the specifications of it without a doubt with the full HD resolution on 13.3 inch panel 60 hertz refresh rate uh, quite nice viewing angles IPS panel anti-glare and of course we have brightness up to 300 cardia per square meter so yeah I mean quite impressive I do have to say for everything that you need to know and additional information including the price you can check out the links below for the ASRock Z790PG Lightning and the ASRock 13.3 inch side panel kit. That's all for today guys. So hope you like something different in terms of technology and uh, stuff I personally haven't seen because everything that we saw so far were those 7 and 9 inch screens that were connected directly with HDMI to the graphic card you had to reroute the cable or anything similar to that this is directly connected to a motherboard so you don't have to worry about any um, internal and external connections with HDMI's and similar stuff and that's all there is to it so if you liked everything you saw don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell for future content and hope you have a good one see you next time bye bye